Welcome everyone, this is the last video breakdown for my EP, Internet Girlfriend, and this song is called Hard to Breathe. It's been so awesome to read the comments and just see how much you guys appreciate hearing my music and what's behind the creation of it. To have you guys actually care about that and want to watch my videos and learn about my music means so, so much to me. Also for each song that I released on this EP, I gave away the acapella stems and 10 free samples from these songs that I'm showing you. You can find those in my Discord server. There's a link in the description where you can download those for free. So check that out. And now without further ado, let's jump into the production. All right guys, here's the session for Hard to Breathe. So this was actually the first song that I've ever done that I recorded a real live piano, actually two of them. I'm gonna roll a clip real quick of one of the pianos that I recorded. Let me just play this little clip here. So Austin's piano sounds like this, very wide and full. I had a separate project where I comped it and mixed it and made it sound great and then brought it into this project. And here's the contact piano. So those mixed together make it thicker. And then later in the song, I have this um, Fortnite piano, I guess is what I called it. <laughs> Cause this is Fortnite Studios right here. It's our piano that's in the other room. It starts off with some atmospheric stuff. This is like a pitched up piano that's reverbed. I have this vocal reverb recorded. And then we have some pads going on throughout the intro. from Omnisphere. So all of that stuff makes just a nice, spacious, breathable, and kind of like sucks into just the one piano. Actually, the two piano layers. Halfway through this verse, I have some little ear candy, atmospheric ear candy. These are what these sounds are. So just a vocal reverb, and then um, this might be a pitched up reverb or guitar, or piano or guitar or something, or maybe some synth that are recorded, kind of sparkly sounding, similar to that, and then a vocal thing. And then we have this little synth here, and then later it goes one octave below after doing these other atmospheric sounds. So I just wanted it to be very simple, just piano and then a couple little like reverb tasteful shots that happen. Then moving to the pre-chorus. This was a really fun sound. I was inspired by Strangers, Skrillex and Tennyson remix. There was a ton of really cool atmospheric sounds and that was a really big inspiration for this song. That's a Omnisphere sound. And then these sounds right here, I believe, um, they're actually little like reverb shots that I pulled from songs. This is from Walking the Wire by Imagine Dragons. And actually so is the other one. So those are layered together and they sound like that, pitched up and reverbed. And then of course in the vocal, we have the So much I wanna say Yeah, so with that piano, I just like playing it live and having the real feeling, the real feeling of playing and the emotion just like did so much for this track and it, it made me not have to add very much at all to to have it deliver the emotion that I wanted. So this is a real, really cool part, um, the break. There's this sound. And then a reverb in. 
So this actually, it sounds like a violin, but it's actually my voice. I think I rendered it and recorded it, so I don't know if I have the original vocal part, but this is what it sounds like by itself. Yeah, so it was actually me being like, I want it up. And then I took manipulator and used the stretch or the smear function and pitched it up an octave. And like smearing and stretching it made it sound like a violin kind of tone. Put a bunch of reverb on it, obviously. It had this feeling like a real violin sound, even though it's just my voice. So now we go into the second verse. The second verse, um, I was really inspired by, I was listening to a ton of Ford at the time. It's kind of like lo-fi feely music. And also has some kind of like Coldplay type piano vibes and just kind of a culmination of a lot of the kind of music that I like that's more chill and laid back and feely and also like some Casbo influence. So I'll show you some of the layers that are going on here. We switched to a different piano. I think this one might have been Keyscape. It's like an upright piano sound. It's also being sidechained um, to the kick drum. So these are what the filtered beats sound like in this song. They're all bust to a group and have like low pass and high pass filter on it with some delay and reverb. I actually had some more drums that I added in the um, mixing prog process project <laughs> that ended up kind of bringing more energy into it. Got some reverb shots of underwatery sounding. So right here we have a poorly played acoustic part. Really good notes. Just a vinyl cracking sound for that vintagey feel. So that's it for the first part of the verse. Okay, to be honest, I have no idea what this sound is. That's not in the recording, but it sounds sick and I'm probably gonna record it and put it in my library. I think that might've been a mistake from FL Studio loading this. I think that was supposed to be the other side of the guitar. It went stereo, but it loaded it wrong. Here's some guitar plugs that are like distorted and blurred, like in pieces. These pads. We got a sub bass that comes in. We got some new percussion that comes in in the, in the second half of the verse. And then everything is very hard side chained to the kick drum. And this is actually the part of the song where all three pianos are being played at once. This is the piano from my house. A lot process a lot higher frequency focused. You can hear me laugh a little bit because I screwed up there. <laughs> the second pre-chorus, we just have um, this kick build and then this snare build similar to pieces as well. These synths come back in and then there's this new synth as a layer and then I have these guitars that my good buddy Steven recorded that sound amazing just very crisp the voicing is great too so that together sounds like this so now we go into chorus two Okay, so I actually decided to open up my mixing project for the final part of this song because there were some cool things that I added in this other project that weren't included in the original project. So here's the chorus. So we got the pianos at full blast. We got drums going on now. This is what the snares sound like. We got these big toms. So those drums are turn out pretty big. Here they are all together. We got big sub bass. And then there's this called metal guitar. So this is me playing single notes on guitar. 
and pitching it down an octave and adding a ton of distortion to it. And I made this really cool bass sound. And then this is a bass sound from, I believe it's Massive. So these, these basses are pretty present in the mix there. They're like covering a lot of the high frequencies. Yeah. So with the pianos, they're kind of being played loudly, so they have a lot of high frequencies to them. Especially this piano. I added a lot of high end to it. So yeah, they make it, they give a lot of energy to the track. Steven's guitars are back in. Got this really cool vocal thing. So yeah, that makes it pretty huge for the second chorus. So I took out some of the piano. Um, I want it to be a little bit more sparse in this bridge section and to have the bass kind of be the featured element for this part. The bass keeps going. And then we have this thing. Kind of like a classic Zed style plug thing. Toms keep going. So yeah, kind of just like took out elements from the chorus for this bridge to shine. I added these cool hi-hats as well that have like some flange on them. So they're super wide. So the bass kind of just rides out a bit. Then I have this cool sustained ride cymbal that kind of reverses back into um, the quiet chorus. That kind of like quick sounding ride was just like some sample I found on Splice of like a rattling cymbal that I reversed. So we go into the quiet chorus. It's just the Austin piano, some rain sounds. It's really simple. back into the chorus. So I have these um, melodies playing the same chorus melody from earlier. So it sounds like this. Which was, oh, this is a piano from Flex and then I just added a ton of distortion and reverb and OTT to it which I think is the same sounds from earlier in the song in the pre-chorus. And at the same time, these pianos are like playing that with the octaves. So they kind of all mash together. Now on top of that, we have this synth that's fully opened up and covering up some of the high frequencies. We have this. And then on top of that, we have some extra drums, some hi-hats that are going a little bit more crazy. And we also have a choir sound. And I have these ad-libs that I don't know if you can make out very well in the, um, the final recording, but I'll solo them for you so you can hear them. How did you do that to me? Yeah, I really liked ending it like that. That was a, a last minute decision to put those in there. As you can see, we got plenty of automation throughout this mixing project. But yeah, then the reverb tail just goes out. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's a little iPhone click at the end um, when everything chops off, kind of like turning off your phone. It was another last minute thing that I thought was a really cool way to end the EP because kind of the concept was falling for someone just based on seeing them on the internet. And I was like moving on from that at the end of this EP, so like shutting off the phone. And yeah, that ended the song, and that is Hard to Breathe, the last one on the EP. 
All right, guys, that's it for this video. So glad you stuck around and watched this breakdown. This song is definitely the most personal to me that I've ever written, and I put a lot of nuance into the feeling of this song through playing the real piano, and I just like, I, I treated it really delicately, and I ended up being super proud of how it turned out. And I'm so grateful that you guys have really enjoyed all of the music on this EP. I took a lot of different directions for my artistry through this process and some different moods and styles than I used to do, but you guys have been super supportive and really into the music, and that means so much to me. If you like the music, continue to stream it, show it to your friends. It means so much to me and it helps spread the word and get this thing going. Thank you again for being so early and being a part of my career and my artistry. And I'm really hoping to do shows eventually, so hopefully I'll be able to meet you guys someday. I'm looking forward to finishing this new music I'm working on and showing you guys that. Oh, also, I'm going to be putting out a behind the scenes video showing footage of me actually creating this EP. So that's gonna be a cool different um, point of view that you guys will be able to see from the process of making this. And... What else? Oh, if you're not already subscribed, <laughs> dude, subscribe. It's not that hard. And that's all I got. Peace. Yeah.